fellow demons. I have been looking over some of our human files, and it is cause for concern. We may have underestimated God and his creations. There are billions of humans now, and we have still managed to keep the majority in sin. There are too many humans. 50% of human reproduction is a result of teenage pregnancies, fornication and adultery. I think that would make us responsible for the high population. So we have created a problem that we need to fix. All over the world murder and suicide rates have increased. Homosexuality and bisexuality is also very popular, even in some churches. I think the record should show a massive decline in human reproduction. For every human who dies or gets converted to a contrary lifestyle, a hundred more are born globally. We need to do more. If I may, adolescents spend 1500 hours watching television and only 900 in school annually. By the time a child finishes elementary, he would have seen 10,000 murders. This figure would double by the end of high school. By the time a human reaches 40, he would have spent 10 years watching television. Impressive. But we still need to do more. Fellow demons, I want you to seriously consider what we are up against. It is not God's will that any human perish. He will do everything in his power to save them. It is our duty to make sure they perish. Am I making myself clear? We have been targeting Christians and have destroyed the desire of many for God's word and prayer. Many do not fast or even witnessed those who are perishing in the act of sin. We have nullified the effects of many churches on the community. The reports of people getting saved has been reduced by 64%. I think we are doing a good job. Do you sleep? Yes. Then we can do more. No demon in this room is supposed to find time to sleep and eat. Now tell me where we stand with our attack on the churches. The leaders of the churches are revising their teachings. They encourage members to get back to the word. What they don't know is, less than half an hour is given to Bible reading in any given week, which amounts to less than 26 hours for the year. Christians have lost the desire to read the very words that tell them how to live. The result is, they mix the sacred with the profane, surrendering all hope of them making it into heaven. Wonderful. Now we have to find a way to force human reproduction into a massive decline. We are thinking a global recession. Making the cost of living so high very few will be able to afford it, unless by dishonest means. The need for money will be so great, and job opportunities so limited, that crime and violence would escalate to alarming levels in many countries. Guns will fall off the market like chewing gums. The prisons will be overcrowded. The graves will expand like hell itself. That should take care of 15% of the population. What else do we have? We can use their own bodies against them. Worldwide pornography. We introduce this on all levels from billboards to public newspapers. We make pornography an occupation, a career. We will make pornography freely accessible by everyone. It will become a way of life for many. A secret door to pleasure. Nudity is marketable. It is 80% of the population's interest. We start from the mild. A star girl in the daily newspaper, wearing nothing at the top. Then as the desires increase, we introduce more until a man's appetite for sex cannot be satisfied with having just one partner. Adultery and fornication will become an acceptable way of life. Even in the church. The scent of sin will go up into God's nostrils. The atmosphere will be utterly polluted with what he hates. Humans will think of nothing but sex. Wouldn't it contribute greatly to our problem? Not if there is a way for humans to protect themselves from pregnancies and diseases during sexual activity. Imagine what will happen if humans had a way of having sex without fear. You are thinking birth control. Yes. 
protection for both male and female. We'll have our products on every shelf. They'll stand out on their own and will be advertised in such a way that even Christians will be convinced. Once that is established, childbirth will decrease and sexual activity will rise. Exactly. Sounds real good so far. What else do we have? There is something that we have noticed about these humans over the years. It seems like great emphasis is placed on self. They seem to have forgotten that self-denial is a prerequisite to a Christ-centered life. The self, it seems, have taken top priority. I expected as much. We think it would be good if we applied even greater pressure in this area. Spice up this world a bit. Make material things a lot more attractive to the human eye. This will increase their desire for gain and decrease their passion for God. Men shall be lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Humans have always preferred instant pleasure above spiritual gain. They spend more time on themselves than they do with anything concerning God. Indeed. But all these are outer attacks. It is their minds that we need to control. That is where I come in. I will tell you of our inevitable victory. Within the confines of these walls, there exists a secret chamber. Within that chamber are thousands of demons that have been undergoing extensive training. These demons have read the human manuscripts hundreds of times and have committed the concepts to memory. I refer to them as the New Age Seducers. How effective are these seducers? They can convince a man to become a woman. They will convince men to kill themselves for no reason. They will seduce men into having sexual relations with animals. That should turn the stomach of heaven. Precisely. Men will turn on each other within their own groups. The church will be against the church. Politicians against politician. Family against family. The seducers can accomplish this. Without a doubt. Once each group is divided, they'll be unable to stand. There will be some who will only listen to the voice of God. A minority at best. Humans no longer see the need to protect their minds, thanks to our influence through the media. They entertain every thought, every fantasy, and every lust. Many don't know who they are, or whose they are, and that is a great advantage for us. On top of that there has been a significant decline in prayers and the sincere study of the Holy Scriptures. We have the advantage. Our powers increase as we draw closer to the end. It is time we exact our revenge on God for kicking us out of heaven by sending as many humans to hell as we possibly can. So we go all out this time. I do not want to push God's hand too quickly. I want to savor every moment. I want to watch Jesus beg for these carnal beings till his heart bleeds again. I want him to watch as his children are reduced to godlessness. I want him to watch as his prized creation choose to fornicate and live adulterous lives. I want him to see the hungry die of starvation. The widows and orphans and those in prison go unvisited, and purity become a thing of the past. I want him to witness a 12-year-old giving birth to a child and I want him to watch his precious believers spending hours before the television watching our programs and listening to our music and taking just a minute to brush the dust from their Bibles. While spending hours on Facebook and Twitter, I want him to witness them turning their backs on him for the pleasures of this life. Best of all, I want to watch him resist his own temptation to destroy this world again. Our victory is inevitable. Humans have proven time and time again that they are beyond redemption. They will share our fate in hell. I am convinced that we can still win this war. Arm yourselves, fellow demons. We go to war.